is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own ways. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices with right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Don't cry, don't cry, I'm not gonna cry. Oh, I might cry. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, I should probably shake your hand, shouldn't I? Thanks, Jeff. To you, Zach, take Caitlin to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and to cherish, to have and to hold, and to forsake all others and keep yourself to her only so as long as you both shall live. I do. Caitlin, do you take Zach to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and to cherish, to have and to hold, and to forsake all others and to keep yourself to him only? as long as you both shall live. I do. So we met in junior high, 
seventh grade, uh, Miss McKittrick's class, we had to do a little skit, and I got paired up with this skinny, loud, obnoxious girl. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> and from there, we just kind of clicked. I'm not really sure how, but we did. The way I see them look at each other, I know it's real. <laughs> I, can't be, I can't be serious. I can't, I can't be serious. <laughs> Anyways, they're great together. I love them. Zach has accepted that. Caitlin and I are a package deal, um, no matter what. And let's cheers to Zach and Caitlin. Zach. Cheers. One of my favorite memories actually with Zach was we were real little, and my dad, right there, <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> they were fake wrestling, and I had to stand up for my brother. I thought he was getting hurt, so I was uh, four foot tall, 90 pounds, and I used all my strength I could to punch him square in the balls. <laughs> That's a real you, story. I got my ass beat. <laughs> But, I got my ass beat defending my brother. <laughs> you see, we always had each other's backs. Some of us, some people might call us two-man wolf pack. <laughs> but then when Zach brought Kate home, I knew she was one of our own. And our wolf pack, it grew by one. So there, so there was three, three of us in the wolf pack. We were alone at first, and then Kate joined. You know? He's an idiot. He's <laughs> But I'm extremely grateful for both of you. I'm so happy to see you guys in the future. Thanks, bud. That's the end. You guys can clap for me. <laughs> it's a good thing you came into her life when she was actually good at cutting hair. <laughs> she started experimenting with hair cutting on Barbie dolls. Once, when I was sitting and watching TV, she came up behind me and cut my ponytail off. For some reason, I still trusted her to do my hair when she was in Cosmo in high school. She must cut my hair twice before she graduated. And a PSA to anyone in the crowd that needs a hairdresser, Caitlin is now the only person I trust to do my hair. Although Caitlin has a mouth in her and she can be a little, little wicked, when she cares about someone, she loves hard and would do anything for them. Caitlin, I couldn't have asked for a better baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Also, guys, it is May 8th, which is now our anniversary date, and uh, something else happened today. You know, it's kind of a big deal. It's also Caitlin's birthday. So if I do ever forget this date, I am completely dead. By the power invested me, by the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your Thanks, everybody. Hold on. Now I'd like to introduce to you, <coughs> excuse me, introduce to you 
Mr. and Mrs. Zachary Swinkley. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. Hang on, that cat. One, one. <laughs> Never seen ah! it. No, you did no, not. No. no. Mary Jane, get off of me. That's an, that's an illegal wrestling thing. <laughs> oh my <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, now. Want to do it, So. Whose hand is on my <laughs> cheek? I'll show us. It's not my <laughs> hand. Eli, oh, I got stabbed. <laughs> oh, we're holding hands, bud. Zach, you're, you're skipping like a little. A little <laughs> well, I'm not a professional skipper. Zach! You look damn good, babe. We were going to a concert, and she's like, Zach said I love you. He goes, he said it first. I'm like, yeah. No. today. Is there anybody here today that knows why these two should not be married? If you do, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Did somebody say anything? <laughs>